Hi guys, Jim the Stargazer here. So I'm making a second video um, about installing the new Kappa speaker, Infinity Kappa speakers into the Lincoln. So um, yeah, I got a 2015 Lincoln MKS EcoBoost here. Um, it's a 2015, I've had it for since 2016. Um, it's a pretty good car. Um, it's got the, the twin turbo in it. Um, and uh, I wanted to upgrade the sound. Like I was saying in my other video, it's got the THX sound, which is a 700 watt system with a 10 inch subwoofer. Um, but you know, the speakers aren't that great. Of course, it's going to have like a, a low distortion rating, but just the sound, the sound, the uh, signature it's you know, it's good. I mean, I can't complain, but I wanted to get a little bit better, kind of like my house in my other car. So I'm going to go ahead and start installing, uh, the infinity Kappa speakers I got, I showed in the other video. Um, I got to take off this, this panel here to get to the tweeter, um, which is just clips in. That's pretty easy. Um, and then I'm going to leave this one, the guy in, I'm not going to mess with this one. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and change out that door over there. Um, uh, I mean the pillar over there. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and change this out. Also, I'm going to going to get new, um, new, uh, speaker, uh, grills. Uh, these ones are metal and because uh, I go I use this for the jet ski I use the Lincoln for the jet ski I splash up water um, and uh, it looks like I just I heard yesterday this speaker is not even working and then the one in the back on the back passenger door is distorted and making a funny noise which I didn't know until I started looking at it so I could have taken this in back into Lincoln and got them to replace it with new speakers uh by in under warranty because i make sure i always keep warranty but i'm just gonna go ahead and put the new infinities in it was better anyways but um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and replace this one too uh and then i'm gonna go ahead and replace this tweeter i already took the cover off of it and then oh, same thing over there i'm gonna replace and then i'm gonna debate on if i'm gonna upgrade uh if i'm gonna put a new subwoofer in or not because i don't really feel like trying to open up the rear deck I could, <laughs> but then when, uh, who knows if I might break something by accident. I don't feel like doing that. So, um, yeah. So let me get started here. So uh, yeah, I'll I'll get a I'll get the screwdriver and start taking this part. Okay. So I saw I saw I start with this door one because, uh, like I said, the speaker is blown. It looks sounds like it's not working. So actually, before I, I replace everything, I wanted to make sure that there's not something wrong with the amplifier. Because the amplifier, I'll take it into Lincoln. So first, I'm going to check this speaker, take it out, and put the new one in, and see, make sure it works. Uh, so I went ahead. This, it's a quarter inch for the screws here. Uh, so there's four screws. Let me see if you can see the. Here's the speaker. Here's one, two, three, four screws, and they're a quarter inch. So um, it's a regular socket I'm using. The socket. He's got a watch. You go too fast, and then. Um, drop the screw in the door and then uh and then you have a rattling because uh it, the, the package comes with um new screws so i'll replace those but uh <laughs> you'll end up with rattling if you drop these in the door so you can see i got a little rust around, i had a little rust around the speaker because like i said i use this this car for the jet ski and so i splash up water when i get in and out so let me make sure i grab these screws like the little kind of wedged in there I hope it's not too big the new ones compared to the old ones I can already see that it's a foam paper speaker I can already see it through the grill I figured it was gonna be paper so well don't drop it so like I said there's gonna be no big big gigantic difference in sound quality let's see if I can get to this one well that's gonna be a problem um, try to take the door off but then sometimes the door has <laughs> spots where it's got a screw in it and you end up breaking those and I don't want to do that so let's see if I can bend this a little bit to get up there yeah that's gonna be hard I can see it the screw but I can't get on to gra grab it The 
thing is though, when I put it in, it'll be a hard, I bet I can always use three screws. It's still gonna hold it in. So as long as I can uh, get it, this one off, get up there to it without, yeah, am I not able to? Cause I'm pulling the speaker down, not lifting up the, see nothing is 100% easy. <laughs> The back door is easy. I saw that. Yeah. Now I'm going to take off this door panel. Let me see if it just. Oh, I see the screw right here. Oh, it's got. What was that? So it looks like it's got three screws here. Okay. So let me try to get this door off. I might as well do it right. I see three screws here and I see one in here. And then we'll um, see if that works. Be right back. All right, so I'm back. So yeah, so um, this screw here, you have a screw here uh, that was a, um, I think it was three eighths. Yeah, this was a three eighths. And then that, this, it's like mixed up between metric and um, standard for this car. That was three eighths. This was a uh, uh, what was that? I had it here. Um, it was right here in my hand. That one was a quarter. So these were a quarter. This was three eighths. And then this guy's here are seven. I'm taking off now. So these guys were a seven. I just had it here. So right here. These are seven. Kind of weird. Kind of weird numbers. So half of it is standard, and the other half <laughs> is metric. Kind of weird. But yeah, so hopefully the door just will come off enough where I can get that screw out. And then test the speaker. Okay, the screw is here. So I gotta make sure I got one, two, three, and I lost the screw already. <laughs> Forgot I had it here. All right, let's take this one out. Yeah, I'm hoping that this just opens up just enough where I can get to the screw. Let's see. And of course, there's probably one more somewhere I don't see. Ah, there it goes. And whatever this is, broke, which was what I was worried about. We'll see what that is. All right, now I should be able to get the screwdriver. Yep, I should be able to get the screw in there. Yeah, I should be able to get the screw in here now. Where is it? I had to put it in here. Oh, it's got a baffle already. So it looks like, yeah, it's got a speaker baffle. The mount is basically a speaker a speaker baffle. I've seen other cars where it's nothing but a, 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 like a, a bracket and there's no baffle. So the speaker is open uh, around it. So this one's got a speaker baffle already. Good, that's what I thought. That's why I didn't get, to get one. I was gonna get one, but I was like, no, it should have one. And it does. Yep, I can get in there now. Yep. Now we don't have to worry so much about the speaker falling in the so screws. All right, let's take this guy off. Oh yeah, it's very light compared to the other one. Okay, now this should have this should have a wire uh, harness. The plug, yeah, there it is. So this has a wire harness. If you guys can see in there, so you just gotta unplug this. So. Yeah, I won't be able to do it with the camera, so hang on a second. Yeah, the speaker is much smaller. But you know what? It is it is, it looks like it's a it's a, it's a yeah, it's a four ohm 50 watt speaker, it says. And uh yeah, it looks like it's a paper it's not paper though, it looks like it is like a fiber. It looks like it's a good speaker. 
they said that they're they're fairly decent speakers but not gonna be as good as the infinity obviously and they got this they got this harness here which i might have to tap into uh, Yeah, give me a second guys let me get in there move the camera and get in there and get that unplugged okay guys so uh got the speaker out like i said i got the new one there got the old one there um i'm gonna have to cut this harness which i hate to do but i didn't know which wire to order i didn't know in the, which model it still doesn't okay so like i was saying i didn't know which harness model this was so i'm looking at the wire it's got the brown wire which looking up everybody said that's red my uh my my um voltmeter i can't get is that dying i don't have the batteries for it um so i'm gonna follow i mean I believe brown is is hot um it's easy on this on the, the infinity the infinity's got um has got screw post so that's very easy and it's really plus minus uh right on it so um so the old speaker the old speaker doesn't it doesn't say plus or minus which would have been nice doesn't say plus or minus on it at all and or one's not bigger than the other so this speaker is a 4 ohm 50 rms i don't know if that's 50 rms or 50 watt max um could be just a max but in it but anyways uh it's actually a pretty good speaker it looks like it is it's some some kind of fiber material so it actually it's a good speaker you know um but the one i'm play replacing it with is much more powerful obviously um i already connected it just to check uh the speaker is blown this original one it was blown out um so it's so the wire the amp is fine i connected it um and it worked um and that, like i said the tweeter is not engaged at all because there's no the crossover is blocking all the highs highs are going to go to the to the pillar up and up by the dash but yeah you can immediately hear the difference um just from being out of the baffle see it's got the baffle so immediately without the baffle i mean uh, uh yeah without the baffle you can hear the increased power in the, in the sound quality compared to the other speakers without it even being installed in the baffle um so i'm gonna go ahead like i said i'm gonna clip this wire and then i'm gonna uh use the brown for the positive and connect it to the speaker and then um yeah i'll come back um and uh and uh, show the connection and then uh, put it back in so give me a minute all right guys so yeah it was a little hard to get in there but I spliced in the wires I cut off the harness spliced in the wires had to cut this open a little bit uh, and then I spliced in the wires I use the little connectors here so that it won't come out instead of like some people use black tape so they won't ever come out um, and I got it I like I said I went from the brown to the plus and then the the non-brown to the negative so yeah i'm getting ready to put it back in the new speaker uh then i'll put it back together and then we'll go up to the pillar so um yeah i should be able to put it back in fairly easily let's see if i can get this on the camera correctly can you guys see yeah all right so uh I've been kicking around the screws. So I got three here. Uh, and here's the fourth one. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back in. Uh, it's got a bag. Like I said, it's got the baffle built in already. I didn't have to buy one. Got this little cover here. They got some tape on it. Uh, I mean, it shouldn't hurt anything, but you never know. It might make some sound eventually. <laughs> and I don't want to make have no, any extra sounds. I want as close to zero distortion as possible. So, got a guy in a lawnmower going by here. Yeah, hang tight for a second. All right, he's gone. Oh, I see. It's just holding on the Infinity logo. This little, this little plastic piece here. All right, so this should slip right in. So six by eight. So it should slip right back in. Holds line up perfectly yep just about so I'm gonna put one screw uh, it probably would be easier I would be easier to use the socket yep 
Let me grab the socket. Yeah. This is seven millimeter. That's not the one. It's, I think it was a quarter. Well, that's not the one either. Uh, I, know I got it in here. I was looking at it earlier. See if we can find the damn thing. Up oh, here it is. <coughs> I was sitting on it. So yeah, it's a seven millimeter. Yep. I mean one quarter, not seven. It's one quarter. All right, let's put this up here. It's kind of hard to see. I got the sun in my face. Let's try to line this up. Let's get one started. down the hill as you can see it's not easy to do this stuff <laughs> and yeah they give this infinity thing here and it doesn't even screw on there's no point in even there's no point in even having it <laughs> all right got one in Get another one in right here. Could have used the new screws, but the other ones are there. They worked fine. Two. Now let's make sure the three, third one, and the fourth hole are in. Uh -huh. Good design, Harmon. So they they kept one of the connections like a variable, so that it, it doesn't ha it's not closed, so you can maneuver it in case. Uh, it doesn't fit 100%. If, it, if they had made it solid, then this wouldn't have worked. Good design, Harmon. I like the fact they put the tweeter pointing up, but the tweeter is not going to be engaged. But if it were, it's nice. So, like I said, when I was testing this speaker, uh, it sounded way better than the other ones. And that was even without it being inside this baffle. So it's gonna—it's like a little box, like a, like a, like a subwoofer type bo like box, but we call it a baffle. And oh, it looks like I grabbed the wrong screw. Does that fit this? Okay. Well, let's put the other three in first, and then we'll find the fourth one. I'll just manually tighten this in. Actually, let me close with this one. This is one that was the hardest one over here, right? You guys remember? Let's put that one in. And then we can shut the door panel. It'll be easier to do the other three. <laughs> there we go. All right, now the other three will be easier to put in. Let me get that door back on. That was easy. Not bad. All right, door back in. I scratch a little bit, and we should be able to buff that out. All right. Well, the first one was a little hard. Always, it's harder to do the first one. Always. Okay. Now I see why they weren't so tight originally. Can strip them out of the plastic, the baffle. When I took them off, I'm like, man, these guys are not very tight. Because they don't want the strip. All right, now let me find the last screw. I must have kicked it down the hill. Of course. I don't see it. So let's do this real quick. Let's put the door back together. So, like I said, I had the door screws here and then one screw up here. So let's put those back together. This is seven millimeter. Yeah. These are seven millimeter. Tighten 
can do is if we strip it. <laughs> yeah, watch everything you do, guys. Don't want to strip stuff out. Just snug it up. Don't go any deeper. All right. And then we had one more screw for this door, which I believe was... Here, it's 10 millimeter, yep. So this door right here, 10 millimeter, we're gonna do. I screwed up my hand so I can't do it no more. Yep, there it is. The back doors will be easier. I don't have to take the doors off. The speakers, the uh, off four screws are easily accessible, I saw. All right, I don't want to put that too much torque on there. All right, so, all right, guys. So we got the first door done, uh, speaker in. Uh, so I'm going to, I think, like I said, this is this is a um, adjust the uh, ohm rating. It's probably a dual dual four in there, and this is they make them now where you can just press a button and change it. So it's two ohms. This plus D three dB. So um, I lost this screw, but I have extra ones they gave us with the package. But with my luck, I'll run the other one over. So I do have to find it, but. Yeah, um, I'm gonna get this buttoned up, pick this area up a little bit, and then we'll start working on the door tweeter. So, all right, thanks. All right, like I said, we have to take off this pillar. Um, so this is pretty easy. This is uh, just clips. I had taken it off the other day, actually. So it only takes like a, a screwdriver and a pull down from here like this. I had done this the other day. I just, it just came right off. Yeah, there it goes. Nothing broke. All right. <clears throat> There's a tweeter right there. So can it, can it come all the way out? Yeah, there it is. All right. There's a tweeter right there. It says, let's see. Yeah, I hate having to cut this wires. But this one, I might be able to just cut the tweeter out and use the wire. Wire, I see a red and green. So let's see. Oh yeah, it looks like it's just held in here, right here. Yeah, this is held in right here by one, two. Oh, just like the what it sent with the packaging. So yeah, let me try to let me try to get this out, then I'll show you guys the tweeter removed. All right, so I un I popped it out. Uh, looks like the tweeter has, is right there. So I should be able to just tie into. I, this time I don't have to cut the harness. Um, there wasn't enough wire on the door speaker down there. So I wasn't able to save the harness. But this one I should be able to just use the harness. Looks like it's got a red and it's got a green. So I'm going to assume red is a red. Uh, and we can just plug it right back in. Let's go take it to the back here. And let's take a look at how this would work. Okay, so... This is a little bit bigger tweeter. So it won't mount directly in. Let me see. Yeah, it won't mount directly in. So I think that's what these adapters are for. So let's see if that's exactly what it's for. It looks like. Uh, oh. Am I going the right way? <laughs> think. Yeah, it should go right on. This should pop right in. And then that should lock it in. So they made it they made it pretty easy. And it looks like uh, it looks like you just run the wire through the back side. Yeah. Alright. So it looks like you just run the wire to the back side. So it looks like they sent this kit here, which is great. You can, it gives you the different setups that you can use. And it looks like for this car, 
this one here works perfectly pops right in so uh, there's no really really no, no modification and uh yeah it's a ford motor company tweeter it looks like it's a silk dome tweeter too but obviously not as, good, not as good as this guy okay so i'm going to i'm going to fish these wires through here i mean i don't want to do it on camera but i can i don't have to let's see yeah i just fish these wires through this is what I was saying. They give you a, a, a little a little wire adapter kit. All right, fish these wires through. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Okay. So let me. Yeah, let me mess around with this, guys, and then I'll come back. All right, like I said, I fished the wires through. I got the adapter. I'm gonna push it through, and it lock right in there. There we go. So it does work. You can just fit it right in, no problem. Okay, so the only thing I have to do is I have to clip these wires here. Um, uh, I almost could run these into the door, into the original let me see no nah, yeah they won't fit no it won't fit it would have been nice if i had the right thing right thing but you can just clip these wires right here like i said and put them on so um and then keep this harness this time because like i said it comes with an extra an extra kit where to go this kit right here to convert it and then red to black and this one here, same thing. They got red is bigger one, black is small one. Okay, so let's um, let's uh, let's get our crimping tool, our wire cutter tool, which I got here. And then let's set up the camera. The wind doesn't blow it away. It's pretty windy today. Should be able to see. For you guys who would like to see it being done so i'm just going to head ahead and chop this wire like that and i got a knife which will can cut these wires grab a knife. okay yep green is negative like i said okay so like i said uh we got this adapter here we're gonna put that on it's gonna just click it plug right into this guy here pretty easy So you don't have to cut this. Okay. And then on this side, it's already got the exposed speaker wire right here. And I have to get a couple of those electrical terminals. This electrical terminals. I have to make sure I get the right size. I got three sizes. So this speaker wire is bigger than the other one. So I would have to go with this blue one, I think. This one here. Can you see it on camera? I think so. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay. Let me just make sure this fits. Yep. It'll fit. And it'll fit this one. So they only give you like a couple of millimeters here. So I'm going to cut this a little bit longer. Just a little bit. I like it a little bit longer <laughs> That's than what they're showing. Yeah, I think this is 18 gauge. Yeah, this is 18 gauge speaker wire. I mean, we're only dealing with 50 to 100 RMS, so you don't need that thick. Yeah, it's a little bit more. Yeah, I want exposed. Yep. 
Okay, and then we have to expose it on here, which I think this comes off, which would be easier, and then pop it back on. My luck, I'll break it, but should come off. Yeah, one side came off. Of course, the other side is not. No. There it comes. Okay, so this will be easier to cut, you see? Now I can get to it easier. Okay, so like I said, this is the green negative side. At least that's what it says. Now they're gonna have my voltmeter to check. I gotta be careful with this because I can strip it out, pull it right out of the harness. It's so nice I can keep the harness this time. There, and then the red. A little bit more, I like having a little bit more exposed. Ugh. All right. So, since this is harder, I'm going to do the small one first here. All right, so I'm going to put this guy. I like doing it this way. That's it. Very easy. Crimp it. That's it. It's not going anywhere. And now I always crimp the little plastic piece here. Uh, some people don't. They just crimp the metal. But I crimped the plastic piece too just to so it doesn't go anywhere ah, there you go so I'm gonna put the other one on it'll be easier to do it now on the other side on the other side here easy enough yeah I was gonna go on the ski today but then it got it's a little chilly it's only like 72 water still kind of warm I was gonna head to Cape Canaveral again they had some five foot waves, but this is fun too. <laughs> All right, so now I got these on. Uh, so we're gonna go and get the this wires here. Okay, here's the red. There we go. Okay, and then like I said, I'd like to do the plastic piece. So it doesn't go anywhere. The metal does, I mean, the metal does lock it down, but I don't like to do it like that. Okay, easy enough. Now, the other one. Okay, shove that guy in. Get, whoa, get one done. Get the other one done. Okay, and then one more in the plastic, like I said. All right, that's it. We're connected. Tweeter is installed. Uh, now we can just uh, put this back on. All right, now we'll go plug it in and double check it works. And I got the tweeter installed. Awesome, huh? <laughs> well, this was easier than the door. <laughs> All right, so let's plug it in just to make sure if I don't drop it on the ground first. Ugh. We got Infinity Kappa Tweeter. All right, where is this at? Okay. Okay, give me one second. All right, yeah, so I just put it in, guys. Immediately you can hear the difference. It's like you don't even hear the other tweeter. Um, the power, there's so much power, more power coming from this guy here. You hear this guy so much more powerful. The door and the door speaker now that's inside with the baffle. Uh, you can hear the, all the bass coming from that guy now. Uh, you don't even hear the other speakers. So I can imagine when I get them all done. So, yep, so that, this worked perfectly. They gave the right adapter. Uh, I said, like I said, they gave this the right adapter. I was able to save the harness on this. So the tweeter was easy. It was very easy. So. Yeah, the door speakers were a little bit harder, but the next one should be easy. So, yeah, let me go ahead and get this put back in. Let's put this back on. All right, you can see. Now, I think this is probably what's gonna be the hard part, is putting it back in here. <laughs> it was easy to get out, but is it gonna be easy to get back in? That's the question. It's gotta go down more. So it's kind of going in, but kinda 
Coyote Blanging. Yeah, it's got to go down a lot more than that. Oh. That's it. Oh, okay. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Okay, so the door pillar is easy to do. As you saw, I took it out. I clipped in and it was easy. I saved the harness. Now we got the uh, tweeter. Uh, the one thing I just gotta double check. Is that tilted tweeter? No, it's not, it's flat. Okay, yeah, I thought it was tilted like the one in the door. Okay, so yeah guys, so that was it. Uh, wanna show you the installation. So I'll, it's not going to be the same thing for those other two ones. I'm not going to film those. Uh, the doors, the front here, same thing as what I just did. Um, and like I said, the quality is instantly, instantly infinite better. Um, not infinitely, but you know what I mean. It's, in, it's really much better. So um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and install the rest of them. Uh, so I'll make another video for the review of the speakers but uh yeah thanks for watching guys uh go ahead and uh, click, click the like button for me help me get the channel expanded uh, i'm gonna make more videos here um i'm gonna also do more of the home theater i probably might do the sub in this car uh like i said i don't want to i don't want to replace the sub in here i'll probably put a 12 inch in the trunk um i don't want to put in the trunk Hey guys, so I'm just adding on to the video. So I got to the um, rear speakers on the uh, back replacement. So I found out, here, let me show you. Let me flip the camera. The, it, the, these, the rear speakers have, they have the um, crossover built in here. And it is blocking the highs uh so um uh it, it's not built into the amplifier it's actually built onto the speaker it's blocking the highs and only sending uh the lows uh so i determined uh that it is too difficult to change this upper tweeter i did this one but the cover doesn't fit so now um i have to live with it like this or like eventually find something I can like make it look like a night like a nice cover um, but this speaker now this has a, a, a cap of tweeter in it the same tweeter this tweeter here that we just put in it's the same tweeter here and this two-way now is getting the full frequency it's getting the highs and lows so if you're gonna change these speakers the rear ones don't bother changing this one just leave it it's not gonna hurt anything just go ahead and, and put the two-way in because this tweeter will be activated and you'll have the nice infinity sound from this and this is way more powerful and loud the car is so much louder now with three speed I got three sets in now um, it's so much louder now you don't even need to change this tweeters so so I'm not gonna change the other side I'm just gonna change the door speaker like this so yeah just thought of since I'm changing it so all right thanks a lot guys